Nice to see you. Thank you again for the very, very kind introduction, always making me blush here. Um, so I'm, I'm absolutely delighted to, to speak to you today here and thank you very much for, for, for coming and uh, taking the time to, to listen to me. So um, what, what do we want to do? At Shine, we want to uh, do a pretty, pretty big thing. We want to sort of enable this zero carbon emission future with abundant power for all. This sounds like a pretty difficult thing to do, but we've started um, looking at the big problems and trying to solve it. We all agree in here that at some point we have to stop burning things to make the world run. So we're pretty, pretty clear on that, but nobody really has found out uh, how. We've made quite some advancement, especially here in Germany. We've put all the wind farms up. That was really great. 50 gigawatts, 42 gigawatts of all the solar stuff that we've done in Germany so far. That's all really, really good as well. But uh, so we've really achieved quite a lot here. We've got almost 35, 36 percent of the energy production in Germany now from renewable sources. And that's a great first step. But um, there's still this. One of those is the view uh, on the beautiful town of Essen, uh, when, you, when you stand in a certain tower and look down, and you see all these roofs, you see all this stuff, and there's, there's no energy being produced anywhere there, even though we all know that power is being, uh, is being used in there. So uh, what, what do we do? The large-scale renewables, which, uh, as, as Jan uh, pointed out, I've been involved in, in quite a while, they're, they're just not enough. We just need, need a bit more. So one of my favorite examples that I, that, I, that I use there is there's been a nuclear power plant constructed in the States. It took about 22 years to construct one gigawatt of power. In uh, one month in Germany, in December 2013 alone, there was three gigawatts capacity installed on roofs in, in Germany in solar capacity. Um, and that's, you know, these are the numbers that, that can, uh, can continue to work. So we all know that prices for PV systems went down, we all know that battery prices went down, and we all know that electricity demand is going up. But still, how do we actually um, sort of solve this problem of uh, stop burning things? So what, what we are saying, there's a couple of key hypotheses that we are trying to believe in, and we believe that solar eventually will be everywhere. We believe that everything will be electrified and that the world will be digital. Um, and if you believe that, then you come to the point that uh, margins from delivering power are probably not going to be existing for very long. And the other thing, which is super important, uh, is that there will be significant infra infrastructure investments necessary. Uh, just on, on Monday, I met a guy who works for this Google X Labs thing. And he said something that, that really sort of resonated with me. He said, this is the biggest wealth creation opportunity of this century to install renewable energy. And it really is. If you think about it, you had oil, you had railways, you had things like this, and now we have this. And this is going to be the biggest one, I think, for, uh, for this, uh, for this 21st, 21st century that we're in. So what's our solution to, to get to that? So uh, we think that if we can build a platform that uh, has small-scale renewable energy sources, really sort of spread out and uh, being installed all, all across the world and that we then enable people to power people, to have peer-to-peer -peer energy in there. I think that's our best way to get there on top of all the large-scale renewables. So that's a, that's a big solution as well, but how do you actually do it? So we started with developing this. Um, we have a, we've done a little app uh, that basically helps you with everything uh, power-related in your house. I apologize, this is all in German. We've got it in English as well, but this is the, the German film. So what we do there is we get a little bit of info about you, about your power preferences, how much power you need, and all these kind of things. You can put those in, and out of this, we in our back end, in our systems, we automatically have a profile of you and what, what would be the best thing for you to do next. So this might be uh, the best power contract that you, that you would need, the best gas contract contract that you need. So we have a system behind that that automatically chooses that for you. Um, on top of it, uh, you might put in how big your roof is, and what we, then we take external information from, uh, from certain sources to find out how much power you can produce with it, and we calculate what's the best uh, solar system. If there's a battery for you, that's all right. Um, we have a product on, on the back end of it that we can say, do you need a new heating system? Anything that's to do with keeping your house warm and bright, we can basically do for you. And that is the first layer you see on this, on this slide here, um, just getting information about you, which is... Uh, the, the first layer to sort of uh, go in there. And then we, we go further, we have a product out that we call Shine Smart, which just went on the market this week, um, where we can, for just five euros a month, give you a full disaggregation of all your power needs. And with that information, we can then uh, assess even better how we can produce your own power. And uh, then we go further and have something called Shine Hub, and there you already have your power. And this is a little demonstration.
demonstration of how that looks. It's live as well now. And there you can see how do you actually uh, manage your power production? How do you connect it with your battery? How do you look into all of these things? So one thing that's really important here is we don't believe that people will do this all the time, right? I mean, this is all pretty, pretty exciting and everything. But if you look at an average consumer in, in, in Germany or anywhere around the world, they're not going to start clicking around these things every day. So what we've really built is to put all of this together in a super convenient way, in a way that enables people to go through their own personal energy transition without, without really having to do anything. And that's, uh, that's, that's sort of the essence of it. So we want to make it easy for people to get independent to produce their own power when it's right. So as soon as we do have the proper inflection point where solar will suddenly be everywhere, we will be in that exact spot to say we have the future-proof energy platform where we have people's data about their contract and power preferences. We have data about their potential to produce power. We have already helped them install these kind of things. And then once they have installed them, we do the energy management. We work on things like peer-to-peer -peer trading using blockchain technologies and things like that. But first of all, we want to build that ecosystem. We want to put people on that platform so then we are ready to do it. Because, and why do we do this? Because look at this, there's 25 years that's going to happen in the, next, uh, you know, in the next time where things will happen. People will buy a PV at some point. People might buy a battery. They might buy the electric vehicle. And if we can be in there and we can be their partner on every step of that, of that journey, I think we have a really, really good chance to A, help that uh, journey go faster and more efficient, but B, obviously be quite profitable on it. Um, if you do a, a quick estimate, you have about 100,000 euros that every household, every, you know, everybody who, single family house, at least in Germany, will spend on energy over the next 25 years. And uh, as to our calculations, it is quite possible to capture a good 3,000 euros of value um, doing that. And at margins that are very, very difficult from a classical utility. Just very briefly on this, what, one of the reasons we're here, we want to partner up with people, we want to help us get reach fast because it's a, you know, it's a business where we want to expand very, very fast now that we've built our platform using B2B4C uh, things. And uh, so wh where are we right now? So we've completed the platform, we've run a couple of trials, we've got 10,000 plus downloads of this beautiful app and all these solutions that we've had. Uh, we've got a very experienced leadership team together, I've got a great CTO who uh, has built a very, very good and scalable technology platform behind all of that. We've got a network across the in energy industry to actually really fulfill all these promises that we've made and we've built our platform in a way and that's quite important that it's plug and play internationalizable so we can just go to another country get a bit more data in and with that data um, kind of run it in, in what whatever whatever other country that we want to without having to recreate all the things um, very important is this brings uh, forward the sustainable development goals so this is a key uh, motivator for what we're doing here as well and um, Last but not least, uh, we are at the moment uh, in the phase where we've finished our development, finished our product, and uh, to really scale up fast and to get out fast, we are looking for new partners, new shareholders, new investors to get in there, maybe in their home markets or, uh, or where, where, it's, where it's the next advantageous market to really, really grow, to make shine uh, larger and to uh, really achieve the goal that we set out to uh, make the... Uh, make the world carbon free with abundant power for all. A little bit of info about our team that's probably not possible to read for you guys right now. And uh, we're going to be here with a little stand out there. Uh, there's a lot of my team is here as well. I'd be delighted to talk to you about this uh, further in more detail. Thank you very much.